Hi friends and pen lovers, my name is Donna. I make videos about stationery, but I'm seriously in love with fountain pens and ink. So there had been a question floating around lately in the um, fountain pen community about fountain pen burnout, and is it real? And yes, it definitely is. I had been feeling this way for a long time before it uh, became a recent topic on social media and in the fountain pen community. And it was strange. I just kept it to myself. I didn't say anything. I wasn't really talking about it. And um, I don't know. It's strange. Why do we always do that? We always assume that we're the only one feeling something. Not just about pens, but about, you know, life struggles in general. Not that this is a real world problem, but you understand the point I'm trying to make. So one day I'm scrolling through my podcast feed and Pen Boy Roy's Pentertainment podcast came up and it was titled Fountain Pen Burnout and it was like a spark. He was talking about exactly what I had been feeling. Uh, in the days and weeks following that, I had seen a few other videos uh, pop up, but I didn't want to watch them because I wanted to see what my own thoughts and feelings were, why I wasn't enjoying my, not that I wasn't enjoying my fountain pen, I, well, we'll get to the problem in a minute. Um, I wanted to get to the feeling behind what it was for me, not for other people, because other people are in it for the art and the calligraphy, and that's not something that is my focus. So I think my first indication was that there was a lot more chatter in the community. And that wasn't a bad thing. It's, it's great that other people are discovering fountain pens. Um especially with the uptick in journaling over the past couple of years, with that one year in particular, we will not mention. Years back, I was writing on my computer, and the pace of my thoughts were off, and the words just kept coming out jumbled up. And I realized I really needed to slow down my thoughts, not to race through them. I needed to process everything that I was thinking. And I also miss the little things like doodling on the edges of the page and the slow tap of my pen on my desk, you know, when I was lost in thought. I'm very tactile and I miss the twirling and the rolling of a pen between my fingers. So like I mentioned before, there were a lot more videos about fountain pens than ever before. And although I'm still fascinated as to the mechanics of a pen, I just don't always want to talk about it. It's like my car. I get in it. It gets me from point A to point B. I don't really know how. It just does. And the pen is kind of the same for me. It's a vessel that helps me go from nonverbal communication to talking, at least on paper. And sometimes the writing is just ordinary. It's just list making or appointment scheduling or just swiping pretty dashes of color in what, for a moment, lights up a dull world. I could honestly write with anything. Hold on to your nibs, people. <laughs> a big would suffice for me, and it has, uh, because one thing I am not is a pen snob. Uh, that being said, there is something magical that happens when you have the right pen and ink combo and they just glide together across the page. Somehow it was the inks that were helping me to tell the story. It wasn't just the pen. And if you know anything about me, you know that I have zero interest in keeping up with the Joneses. It seems that new collections seem to pop up and be released almost daily. You can have all the pens in the world, but you only have two hands and Last time I checked, 99.9% .9 of the world could only use one of those for writing. 
And I don't say this to mock or judge anybody for their collections. They are all beautiful and museum envy worthy and aren't all of their own. But for me, fountain pens are like a grown-up version of a Crayola. They let me be creative, even if the task is mundane and merely writing out a shopping list. So how did I fall back in love with my pens? I never stopped. I just needed to stop talking about them, pick them up, and use them as intended. Like an artist with a paintbrush, I let the pen and the ink paint my world. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for listening and watching, and I hope to see you again, and happy journaling.